Hello everyone, welcome back to Life of Clay and again it's Kenji here, your sculptor. Today we will be sculpting the world's most famous frog, Agalichnis calidrias, also known as the red-eyed tree frog. But before we begin guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss out any of our future videos. Okay, so without further ado, come bring the clay on and let's do the jump. first draw a steamrolled like sketch of this red eye tree frog, for in this way, I can build the armature in proper proportion. And using 1mm stainless wire, bend and bond them together using two parts epoxy that I reinforced with a string. And while the epoxy is still wet, wrap around a piece of aluminum foil so it will adhere, and finally set aside to cure. Bending the leg wires to make hair pose. The Agalichnis calidrias, known as the red-eyed tree frog, is a colorful, slender, medium-sized frog. Most prominent feature of this frog is its eyes. They have a narrow pupil that run vertically. Their body is eye-catching, with a bright green and stripes of yellow and blue along its side. They have orange or red-colored foot, and since they are arboreal frogs and spent majority of their lives on top of the trees, they have tiny sticky pads on their toes allowing them to cling onto leaves without fear of falling in the ground. The skin on its back is thick and rough, but its belly is soft and more fragile. Bulking it with more aluminum foil and secure with masking tape. Now we can start sculpting the head and forebody, using Sculpey Premo White that I colored with soap pastel to produce this light green colored clay. Covering the head with thin sheet of this clay and start shaping it based on the reference. Red-eyed tree frogs are insectivores, eating crickets, moths, grasshoppers, flies, and other insects. Hmm, my insects then are in serious danger, huh? They are native to neotropical rainforests where it ranges from Mexico through Central America to Colombia. It is sometimes kept in captivity. The scientific name of the red-eyed tree frog Agalichnis calidrias comes from the Greek words kalos meaning beautiful and dryas meaning a tree or wood nymph. On average, males are 2 inches long and females are slightly bigger at around 3 inches. And let us now try to sculpt and shape the head as close as possible to the likeness of our reference. And marking the location of its ears. Frogs and toads don't have earlobes, instead they have this outer eardrum called tympanum on both sides of its head. And since she bent on her left side, I give attention to those folded skin details to add more natural look. And using this small ball tip tool, we can now texture the skin to give it the rough appearance. Finishing the details on his head, starting on its nose opening by poking it, shaping the lips, and prepare the eye sockets. For her eyes, I used this red-orange colored clay and form into small ball and cut them into halves using yarn and then bake them for 5 to 10 minutes. And while we are waiting for the eyes to finish, let us add those tympanum on her ears and finishing the details of her underside. Now 
now that the eyes are ready, let us now embed them to their sockets. Fixing the eyelids around them by adding and blending some pieces of clay and after this, do the first baking. We can now proceed in sculpting her hind body, using the same method and basing on the reference. Adding those bulging sacral vertebra bones on its back to make it more natural. Brushing them with alcohol to smooth out. And again, texturing the skin. In this part, I improvised this soft aluminum wire by carved in a small round hole in the tip using a knife. This will help me form those small rounded bumps on the frog's skin with an ease. And after this, do the second baking. And next is sculpting the legs. I did the sculpting one leg at a time and temporarily cure each finished leg using heat gun. Starting with the hind leg, cover the wire with a piece of clay and shape them, paying attention to their muscle cuts and movements. I sculpted the first foot of cam and did some experiment and to further study the sculpting method to apply so to make it more easy. Same method is applied in sculpting all the legs so I will show you now how to sculpt her foot. I use a Sculpey Premo translucent mixed in with little orange colored clay and orange soap pastel. Form a flat piece of clay and attach it to the tip of the sculpted leg. Blend and slitting it in between to form the five toes and start shaping them based on the reference and adding those round flat discs on the tip of each toes. I also position some of her toes to add movements on them. And adding those subarticular tubercles underneath her foot. We can now proceed in sculpting her front legs. Same procedures is applied but these legs are shorter than the hind legs and they have only 4 fingers. And let us now painting her. For all the color mix I used in painting it, I mixed in slow drying acrylic medium as retarding liquid. This enables me to imitate that airbrush effects. For most of these frogs colorations are gradient. 
So I start painting her belly and some underside part of her legs using titanium white and little amount of blue. Next is painting the inner side of her leg with blue. Then painting the side of her body with the same mix and slightly blending it to the white paint of her belly to create gradient. Next is painting her back with the mixture of bass yellow, sap green, and titanium white. Adding those white dots on the side of her belly upward. And painting the yellow line pattern on the side of her body using bass yellow and titanium white mix. Applying more wash of blue to increase the saturation. Painting her eyes with a thin coat of bright red and yellow mix. Painting the eye line with pure black. Retouching her lips and painting it with light pinkish paint. And painting her vertical pupils with pure black. And we can now seal her with varnish. I used this semi-matte water-based varnish of DecoArt, but it's not totally matte in finish. Instead, it produced a semi-gloss finish which actually suits my purpose. And applying gloss varnish for all the foot to bring out the more translucent looks. And lastly, applying thin coat of UV resin on her eyes to bring them to life and cure with UV light or under the sun. There we go, our world's famous red eye tree frog is finally done. Hope you enjoy the making of this frog and may you find my techniques useful. And if you love my sculpting videos, please consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell down below. So you will be updated for all our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel guys. Have a great day everyone.